a lot of this stuff is on hanging racks or rolling racks. Uh, and when you've got the rolling racks, then you've got floor space being taken. We wanted to get it up, to get it in a place and to be able to access it when we wanted to. We were able to customize what we wanted for each section and how we wanted that to work. And to this point, it's all worked out exactly like we asked. We were essentially able to, to individualize everything we did for the players and for the coaches. Um, it allowed us a little bit more flexibility uh, from a storage standpoint. Um, we actually brought stuff from one room into this room, uh, which freed up space in that room for more of the bulk storage that we needed. Before we started this project, we um, the room that we're in uh, was a storage room, essentially. Uh, it housed a lot of our bulk storage, um, socks, sweats, uh, shorts, t-shirts, uh, a lot of individual stuff that was just uh, brought in in bulk. Um, and it also housed all our uniforms uh, and our coaches' clothing. Uh, everything was on hanging racks, um, big cabinet storage, um, few shelves, uh, but we made it work. It was something that we brought over when this entire room was built in uh, 2001, 2002. Um, and we had to move the shelving that was in our old room over to this room. Uh, we made it work. That wasn't the plan and that wasn't on the script. Uh, but halfway through the project, we were told they, that the construction would not do cabinets. So we, we put it in, we made some alterations, we made it work. Uh, it had gotten to be kind of a unwieldy system for us. Um, we knew where everything was, and we knew how to manage it, but it was a lot of rolling racks, a lot of things on hangers, a lot of things being moved from one spot to the next. And we had the opportunity, we wanted to do this in this room but we never really had the opportunity or the financing to do it. So um, we found that opportunity in February uh, with the renovation of our locker room. And they came in and were looking for a place to put a drink station, essentially for football, outside of the locker room. Well, we had the only space that was available and I said, okay, you can take that space, but you have to put space savers in. Um, yeah, we've broken down the room into five or six sections, really. Um, the first three sections, um, which is one static cabinet and the, the first rolling cabinet, is we, we wanted a place to house all the uniforms without kind of backing them up back to back. And we've set up our practice section, which is all our practice jerseys, all our injury jerseys, and all our practice pants exactly the same way. So you know what section you're going to, you know what section you're in, you know what section you're using uh, for that particular use, whether it's practice or game. Uh, and then as you move away from that, we've got a coach's section. And essentially, it's a small locker for every coach, and we individualize hanging their gear, whether it's game gear, or whether it's recruiting gear. Um, we also have a couple of bins above that. Um, one is used to house current use uh, gear and the other is to use future use gear, which we'll, we'll, when we know we're gonna issue, whether it's cold weather or additional recruiting, we will simply start working on that and stage that in a, in a section where we can just simply bring it down and put it in their locker. Um, as you move out of that, we've got a player section, and we'll use that um, in conjunction with another section in another room that we, we stage gear for players, whether it's preseason workout gear, uh, whether it's their school start workout package, um, their travel wear, uh, and as you move beyond that, which is a seasonal thing, then we, if we start looking at a bowl game, then we will move that gear into those sections. So it allows us the flexibility to, to prep one particular date, uh, like the beginning of the season, and then three weeks later we'll do a school start package. We can go back to that section and begin to prep that. And if we are prepping a 
um, a game day section, then we can use another section for that. So what we've done in the Space Savers has allowed us a lot of flexibility in, in our ability to stage where we don't have to clear one section to move into it. Um, we simply bounce back and forth. And the section that we've got now, once we've done the travel wear, then we move or we use that for the season so that we, on a Friday, we'll go in and pull all their travel bags for every traveler. And then on Monday, we'll go back and reload them in those same sections. Uh, and then if you go above that, we will keep um, some of the staff hats, uh, some of the custom staff shoes. Um, and then our final section is our bulk, which is our laundry nets, our towels, anything that is a limited use product uh, and that we may only have to access whether it's once a week, once every two weeks, or once a month. Um, so we don't have to roll that section in and out as much. Um, so that's that's the uses of them. Uh, we did put a, uh, a folding table, a counter, uh, and part of that was to have the ability to, to bring new gear in and get it ready for the shelving. Uh, also to house some of our smaller cases under there to get them out of a hallway. And then above that, we put in some uh, cabinets to house uh, just really miscellaneous gear, whether it's toiletries for the coaches or cleaning products for our helmets. The variations and the use for now and future um, just in the same area was, was the best thing we did, was that we did take the time to, to really thoughtfully figure out what we wanted and what we needed. And we could look at the old room and say, this is what we really need, and this is what needs to change. And how do we fit that in, and what does that look like? And so knowing what we had, knowing what we wanted, um, and being able to put that together with Dick and then being able to translate that um, into what we have now has been a, just the, the best thing for us.